All right, it's another week for the casual nerds here at the shop. Let's see what we got going on this time. All right, we're on Ultimate Avengers 2. I'm liking this series a lot better than the Ultimates by itself. This one has got Nick Fury's Black Ops team taking on, well, you know, all hell is going to break loose, basically. Rich people are dying and it needs to be taken care of. We're on to Deadpool, Wade Wilson's War. It's Deadpool, what else do I have to say? It's already funny, it's great writing. He's talking to Congress, for God's sakes. Just pick it up. Second Coming, Chapter 10. It took so long for me to finally get into this. The last issue was really good. Ten continues that. X-Force is in the future, and we're going to see what's going on with that. Everything's going on outside the dome right now. you got Fantastic Four, Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man trying to figure out how to get all the mutants outside. It's going to be interesting seeing how they wrap this one up. On to DC, it's Batman number 700 by Grant Morrison. Grant Morrison is an amazing writer, although this one was a little hard to follow. Keeps on skipping between yesterday, today, tomorrow, future. Typical Grant Morrison. But definitely worth picking up. It's fucking Batman. From Icon, we got Nemesis issue number two. This is an amazing series that's basically Mark Millar's follow-up to Kick-Ass. Not technically a sequel, but this one goes and follows around a villain. And a really badass villain, might I add. Fucking amazing. Just like Kick-Ass. Every issue, I want the next one. Alright, from Dark Horse... Predators. You excited for the movie? Because I know I am. This is the prequel for it. Something to get you interested in it. It goes off of the people before you're going to see in the movie. So there's a lot of hunting and a little twist at the end. Alright, not too big of a week, but it saves my wallet and your wallet because I know I'm still recovering from two weeks ago. That was a little intense. But, you know, Royal Cage is still going strong too. A couple of number one issues that hit the stand. Still up in the air about it. But I do got one thing to add. Buy it. If you're a Spawn fan, buy it. It's only <clears throat> expensive, but still worth it. You guys got any Star Wars stuff? We got a signed photo of Heen Christensen. I'm with the good Star Wars. Oh. We got Lando. You throw in a Colt 45 and you got yourself a deal. Sweet. Will that be cash or charge? Yeah.